All right, if I can get a timer of anything, we'll just drop their five. Thank you. We'll get started for our meeting, okay? We're going to move on um, to the approve the minutes and claims and go on down to the subject of the several things to the I'm going to make a motion to approve the claims to March 4th or the minutes, I'm sorry, minutes to March 4th. How about the drainage for me to? Sure. Okay. Thank you. I'll second. That was in favor. Aye. Uh, I'll make a motion to accept the claims uh, and payroll claims also. Okay, the claims are 100, $154 in the amount of $426,462.04. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. Review and acknowledge the parks. Uh, we'll go to the monthly report for February. Okay, the parks report for February. Okay, we'll go to the monthly report. I'll make that motion. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. We're going to acknowledge the Treasurer's Bank Reconciliation and Monthly Comparison Report for February. I'll make that motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Report and collections as submitted for the ambulance clerk, reporter, and sheriff for February. I'll make that motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, did we receive any bid that the jail soon or screening? We have our own. That's the sponsors. I guess Roger will open that. Okay. The proposal was received from Column Excavating LLC out of Rockville, Indiana. It was received on March 18, 2024, at the at the right time. So it's acceptable. The proposal bid is for one million one hundred and forty-five thousand. Four hundred ninety nine dollars one one four five four nine nine point zero zero. It's important to note that this uh, proposal does not include the cost and the installation of the equipment. We pulled those out so they did not get loaded with overhead. The manufacturer is willing to provide those equipment and then have them installed, so we have to the cost to that. I think we're a bit cheaper than last time, which is good news. Unfortunately, we only have one good, so we'll accept it under advisement. I'll okay. review it and I'll let you guys know if it meets all the requirements and we'll go from there. Okay. So, Tim, I need to make that motion to accept the bid and take it under advisement. Anyway, make that motion or? Was it column, you say? Yes. Column, excavating. Column. I'll make the motion to accept the bid from column excavating in Rock Hill, Indiana, for the new general sort of project. Okay, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you, Roger. <laughs> we have some transfers. Um, statewide, 911, um, $7,000 from utilities to require maintenance. Repairs and maintenance to transfer seven thousand dollars. And I, I get a motion currently. I don't think we're busy. Oh, good. <laughs> it's all right. Okay. I will make that. Thank you. Three. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Okay, it looks like we have another additional appropriation. So I'm just going to read through them. 
And then I'm going to put it as family notion and if you have any questions or anything before that happens. Okay, county kind of general ambulance over time, 150,000. And that's just to get us through all yeah. of this? Yes. Right. What is about half of what we need? Okay. What is, okay. That's for an ambulance. And for an ambulance? Yeah. Automobile? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what it's under. Okay. okay. The, it's for an ambulance. Okay. I, I thought it was, but it's in way of that. All right, three hundred sixty-five thousand dollars. I mean, commissioners consulting fees for being on this forty-six thousand. That's a uh, comprehensive plan. You know, that was what's what's left of everything get paid out from the original last year. So we've got to ask for it again. Okay, because we didn't have an invoice to number. Thank you. Which I add up to the ambulance. Yes. I want to in the budget to begin with, the beginning of the year. We we budgeted for one, but we've got another ambulance coming. No, I think a chassis. Are you on the two fifty? You have a question on. Did you have a question on the ambulance or the two hundred fifty thousand? Well, on the three hundred sixty-five thousand dollars, that's an that's an additional ambulance for what we've done. Right, because okay. we didn't do it at the time. We didn't even know when we were getting it. Right, right. I mean, but, Okay. So we didn't budget for it. Okay. Okay. So then I thought you had a question on the. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Nobody can see that coming. No. Yeah. Okay. Impact development for the commissioners of the child care rate grant. Um, we had signed a commitment letter, and I think it just. And I'd like to should get put in the budget. Is that correct? Because projects um, were not submitted in in time to take it out of last year's budget. So we just didn't think there was going to be any projects, but there is. Uh, that kind of was awarded some additional seats with um, in Attica had some and Covington. Had some spots, so I think we talked about the council meeting. <clears throat> so it's twenty three thousand nine hundred fifty dollars. That was our commitment for three years. County farm ambulance two hundred sixty five thousand. <clears throat> that is all I have. And that one's for the chassis we now. Okay. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve the additional request and to be sent on the council. I'll second. What was in favor? Aye. Um, Purdue extension uh, submitted some job descriptions to us for their program assistant. They didn't say that. I don't know. Okay. Did, did you want to? Yeah, just kind of explain what the changes are going to be. So, with the resignation of Laura Bush, so she's no longer with the county. And then this Friday, effective, um, Joyce will no longer be with extensions, she'll be moving offices. So, what I wanted to do is I wanted to propose a change up kind of in the kind of what the structure is as far as with the office. So, we'll maintain one full time position. And we're going to change the title of that from office manager to it'll just be program assistant because okay. it's going to be more of an administrative role. So what I did was is I pulled, I took the two job descriptions, put primarily a majority of the jobs into the one. The second position, instead of it being a full time, I want to move it to a part time, and that will not be a non benefit eligible. So we'll just have the one position that will have basically eligible for benefits. Okay. And then the goal is, is by having the part time, will be 15 to 20 hours. Um, I looked at, I did the numbers, we'll be fine with what we already have budgeted. And then that's going to be more of just a, they'll do administrative work, but it'll be more of kind of an assistant role to the other. So, kind of where we need to fill gaps and have this, you know, extra help, that's what the goal of that second position will be. So, that's kind of the, so I outlined it out and I went through and just, you know, I detailed out exactly what to see, so you can see what the job description will be. 
what we combined and kind of how the difference of the two, but that way you have it there. But that's what the plan is. So that's what I wanted to bring to you all to see if that would be if we could get that change made. So I don't have a problem with it. I mean, I've worked in that office before and mm -hmm. it makes sense to me, but okay. Do we make a formal motion? Yes. To change the job, job description. Yes, sir. Yeah, motion to approve. That. I'll make a motion to approve Adam's changes on his job description. Okay. Second that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Okay, I have. Um, Resolution here. Yeah, I'll be three. Resolution 2024 3 is uh, approving the sheriff's uh, compensation agreement. Can't believe you have yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, under <clears throat> the sheriff's code, there's two ways to pay a county sheriff. Uh, the, uh, the current is <clears throat> because Mount County has less than 20,000. Uh, citizens, um, the by that statute, you can pay the sheriff a percentage of the elected prosecutor's pay, and the sheriff is allowed to retain um, funds that are generated by either meal allowance, prisoner meal allowances, or tax warrant collections, or both. I believe currently the sheriff uh, exercises that and is, uh, retains the, the tax warrants. The other, the alternative is you can pay the sheriff a fixed fee, um, <clears throat> but in exchange, the, the sheriff has to agree to waive or to assign the prisoner mail allowance funds and the tax warrant collections to the county. And then the, the agreement um, under that same uh, provision of the statute, there are several requirements of terms that have to be in the agreement. So that's in the agreement that I prepared, and that provides for how the uh, those assigned funds are, are seeded and administered. At the end of the the only the only variable is to um, I guess the, for convenience for the auditor and for pay is just to and then. By the same statute, let me just back up for a second. The commissioners have to approve this, and then the council have to approve the same, pass the same resolution and uh, at its meeting. So then I think I ordered the agreement that its uh, effective date was was open so that you can uh, just pound that with, with the pay periods. We're going to go back to the mark, the first pay in March, I believe, okay. is when. Really took effect, but we were waiting on this. Um, I don't have the exact date, but that's we're going to go retroactive back to that. Okay. All one motion, right? Yeah. I'll make a motion to accept resolution 24 3, resolution approving sheriff's compensation agreement. I'll second that. Bye. Bye. No. Oh, I guess I see you, right? Okay. Now, is Dana. Oh, she, she said she didn't be here. She's on vacation. Right. Um, let's see. Before we go, can I jump back up to the uh, sewer? At the county, or the lift station at the county jail, and grinding it. Rock would read that document, and everything's okay. So, if we want to vote on it, and we'll get it awarded and get it started. Town of Petersburg has been very, very um, patient with us. Well, I, I would just, if, if it's okay with you, I think we need a, a good uh, agreement with. We'll call them excavating, um, especially for that dollar figure. So I, if you can, we hold off. I'll wait until next meeting. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. 
Roger, you just reviewed it. And we're trying to move things along. Okay, so here's a letter regarding the caliber from the Central all of us commissioners. Um, so, you know, like Colleen said, I came up later. <laughs> so, do we need to prove that we set open 22,000? All right, did you want to put a little bit of this? It is. It's 22,000. Yeah. All seconds, all those in favor of the show. Aye. We have an agreement for professional services with our family. Um, and I know we accepted the bid, took it under advisement. That was last meeting. Um, Can't you, you have anything you would like to say about that agreement? But... No, the, at the last meeting, it wasn't. Based on any legal issues, it was just the to have time for the for the county engineer for Roger to review more of the um, proposed. Just make sure we weren't they weren't redundant. Uh, so just to, to evaluate the services that they were offering and the dollar amounts. And I think he successfully lowered the, um, the, the those revised exhibit C and um, had a. Lower dollar amount than was proposed. Okay. And I think they sent us a little more detailed information, which is what we're what's requested. <laughs> so I think we're satisfied, you know, from what they sent us on there. Okay. I'll make a motion to sign the contract with on and move on. Okay. I'll send that all this paper. <laughs> Okay. Do you have anything else? I do not. This is quicker than I thought. The only thing I'd like to say, I mean, I don't know if the folks voting here or not, but people on their property taxes are going to see, especially by my own homeowners, a, a nice raise this year that has absolutely nothing to do with the county. It's the assessed value of your home from the county. For instance, I can talk about mine. 
and mine went up like three hundred and eighty four dollars a half because my assessed value the year prior was one hundred and eighty thousand. Do I have some citizens follow me in that? You know, why are our taxes? That's you know, county has nothing to do with that. Just update some here that we probably will get a little rate of our two brand new ambulances in May, maybe the fourth in. It's kind of why we ask them for the initial now and be ready. And then once those are here, probably sometime May first of June, we'll send the phone help us get remounted over to Dawn Safety and have that done. It should take about 60 to 90 days. Okay. Is it? Okay. Uh, Jason, did you have anything? I have a couple of questions for uh I guess one for Kim, one for Colin on the Rockaway Bridge. Uh, we didn't have a couple members up there about some work that needs to be done. Um, can we use funds for from the covered bridge final item and our it, budget? It's for the rock. It is yeah, for the rock. I think so. Okay. Yeah. What is the we want to be replacing the uh, high limit things up there that they keep getting knocked down? Um, we've met with Steve Muscovich. Uh, to get a plan together with them. And then another thing, uh, Rob, Roy Jones called Friday asking about speed bumps at the end of those bridges, at the bridge. Um, I don't know liability-wise if we are able to put anything there. Uh, I don't know that it's going to do anything. I think that's completely within your discretion of the liar. Yeah. And uh, you're just learning about liability issues. It means well, there's there are standards so we build them to are they correct they we stop the agenda anyway, so we don't we don't cross the board. So. Your fault. Yeah. And the main thing was just mm -hmm. for the material and, and thanks for the program. Um, I do have a couple on call contracts with USI that I'd like to look into a little bit deeper uh, before some. We've got two bridges on our property with one for a replacement and one for a rehab this year. Um, and the prices are extremely high, in my opinion, for the consulting fees. So I just want to, I'm, I'm going to talk to USI about that because I, I, I don't have enough the budget to. They just consult the fees they do the bridge. So, uh, um, just need to what it is. If you're not successful with that, we may have a different route to take. HWC, and, and I told you that they approach us, they want us kind of a, to be a competitor. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't have the funds, you can throw them something and see what they come back at. It's fine. Mm -hmm. They do the same kind of work with us. Yes. Sure. Does so? I and guess we have do we have an exclusive contract with that. Okay. So, like in the past, I know we've had U.S. Engineering and, and USI. They give us uh, some on call. Yes. So, I mean, would that be acceptable? Can yeah, yeah, it's a service. It's a service. You can shop it and make them bid against each other, and or it doesn't have to be. It's, there's no formal bidding process for our services or so. Just so, you want to get that information? On call. Give, give them an opportunity to come back with cost. If they don't match what we need them to be, let's shop them out. Okay. Sure. If, if HWC comes higher or the same, then you stick with your contract. Yeah. Who else is there other than HWC? I mean, I know there's 100 out of there. Yeah, well, we can do Yes. I'd give you a three. Yeah, yeah. 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 we could do that. Yeah, yeah, we've yeah. used BS recently. So, I'm, you have a spot for fair? Yeah, it's a three job and BLN. I'm going to choose my tax. Yeah. Okay. Make them, make them, yeah, yeah. Make them work for it. Yeah. Um, 
We didn't have three positions open. Uh, we were doing interviews last week. We have a couple more today. So hopefully we'll have a new bill here before tonight. Okay, good. Uh, we're planning to still plan on starting paving um, beginning of May, second week of May. So we uh, start putting pipes in on street town. And street town is the community crossings grant this year. Yeah, we should hear if we are awarded by the end of the month or mm -hmm. beginning of April. So no okay. good we'll process with the contractors. It's going clear down to Starkey Road or it'll go clear down to Starkey Road from the city limits here. Well, the Dixie B to Starkey Road in the back. 840 South, and then we're going to do that mile stretch at 840 South Street Town to 500 West. Okay. How long will the be crossing the application? How long did they to put it together this year? USI working on for us a little bit. We helped. It uh, was. They changed a few things to get it here without it, so it wasn't a major change, but it did take too long. I'm gonna say, my first year for me, crossing was about like a postcard, exactly. Yeah, yeah. and now you have to have professional consultants. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the way it yeah. is with everything. Mm -hmm. We can't do anything without professional consultants. Yeah, that's why there's a hundred of them that's got made a mistake. Yeah, so <clears throat> hope the water sleeps good. Okay. Thank you, Jason. Mm -hmm. Any other department heads that can come up no. back there? Okay. Council, 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 Yes, I know there's a scene sort of like we have had them. So we can go bypass it and just do some stuff and then put it back out of hand. Just because you asked, the $1.145 million cost does include the equipment in it. I'm very happily surprised with that. So it does or does not. It does, okay. which is great because now we'll drop the five by six hundred thousand dollars. But it doesn't include the installation. It does. It does. It does. It does. It does. It does. We brought those as two separate units, and they're key rolled up in those numbers to show a whole number. Okay. I have one more question to you. Uh, the Ranger pro project. Do you have any of them installed? Because I've been having questions last week. You know, I thought somebody said in August. Sorry? I thought someone said August. August? That would mean something that I That's good. Yeah. They have not reached out to me about anything as far as one day. So I'm surprised because somebody else is going to trust me. The only thing I know about it is they asked the landowners to plant wheat yeah. because they wanted to hurry the crop out. So I take it they're talking August, to September, or July, August, and then. Okay. Anything else? Motion closed. Second, all in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.